Hi Yang Gang, this is Daniel. So I'm coming to you because I'm super excited about Nerds for Humanity. They are doing a new initiative called ofthepeople.us and what that is is to encourage people locally to run for office and have the resources to win. So I'm going to do a whole bunch of social media and commercials to help promote them. And I'm also working on an explainer video for American Jobs Factory to better communicate what I'm trying to accomplish with my nonprofit. So look for a lot more coming out from me. And I have a commercial that I did for them also at the end of the the conversation that they have so look for that and I'm gonna re release it by itself as well and so just a lot of things coming up thanks for joining me and here's the clip enjoy today I have an update from myself and two of the of the people dot us volunteers I'm Sam more importantly this is Logan my son he's nine months old he's gonna be hanging out with us today uh, I am a uh, software engineer. Uh, I know Tom and Ian from having worked at a startup with them and having worked with Tom prior to that at a, at a company. Um, and I'm just excited to be a part of the team. Well, welcome back, Sam. Good to see you, buddy. Ian? Yeah, I'm Ian. I do not have a child with me, but I have artifact, artifacts of my kids right behind me that you might be able to see. Um, I write code every once in a while, and uh, Sam, Sam and I worked together back in the day, and also Tom. Um, and uh, yeah, so write a lot of the code for of the people, and uh, happy to be on the team. You and I talking stuff. about it around June of last year, because I think it was like around Independence Day, right before. I remember because I was. Yeah, I was like camping around June, and you called me early in the morning. That, that does, does highlight that all of us are. Yeah volunteering you know and so we all have day jobs children spouses um other projects that we're working on in that it started out as hey we want to help people get their first thousand supporters who are running for congress and it was like yeah it's like kickstarter for congress and it had you know it was like yeah let's do this and there was a lot of people on Twitter that were encouraging um, me to do it for sure and saying, hey, this is a cool idea. And then I think as we did some, uh, some research and we talked to folks, the fact that, A, it's hard to get elected to Congress as a first-time candidate. Like you hear examples like AOC, but it's not common for someone to be a bartender and then show up in Congress like six months later. Um, and then the second thing was that 80% of sitting Congress people were in locally elected offices prior. Mm -hmm. And then the third thing was that the party, either parties, all parties, use these local candidates as their kind of D1 NCAA kind of scouting territory. And, uh, and I guess the other thing was that these local elections are also often won by just a few hundred votes. And those typical campaign budgets are like a thousand, two thousand bucks. They're not five million, you know, which is typically what you might need to if you want to be like a congressperson in in a competitive state. That was part of the theory of OTP is that some people hearing this may be like, well, why do I care if uh if, you know, um, a particular candidate wins in some state far away from me, well, that candidate, if you really like them and you think they're going places and you help them get their early start, they may end up in Congress. They may end up in the Senate or beyond. And so wouldn't it be cool if there were a way to discover, search, and browse candidates uh that share your interests i'm gonna go to of the people.us uh and it's right here okay i think you guys can see it so this is um if you haven't got, gone there before and you are running for office you absolutely should click this button here promote your candidacy because it's free 
and you're just going to get uh, more exposure. And actually, we've been running uh, some ad campaigns promoting OTP, and uh, we'll continue to do that. So if you're listed here, you know, you may find your next donor or your next volunteer or your next supporter um, because if you are not a candidate, but you are someone who's interested in supporting future leaders, you can click on this one. Now, what's cool is we have this uh, tagging capability. So you may be, you, we're not quite there, but we, you might be at a point where you're like, I don't know, they all seem interesting to me. But let's say you're super interested in basic income, like that's your thing. So you can click that, that tag. And now we're going to show all the candidates who themselves have tagged UBI as a priority of theirs. The other thing you could do is you could do multiple tags. So you could say, I want someone who's for both basic income and Medicare for all. And you see Austin, Liam, and Ali show up. Uh, the thing I'm, I'm excited about is the ability for us to like, or for people to potentially create profiles for for people that they're interested uh, in supporting in elections. Reason being is, you know, a, a busy candidate can only do so much to kind of right. generate the ability. Oh, you're okay, but and uh, um, you know, I think I think it would be great if people could basically say, "Hey, look, I live in this area of uh, the country. There's this upcoming local election, and here's somebody I'm really excited about." To so just help amplify the message of those candidates that people are excited about. And Logan clearly agrees. He's he's. he's He's always, he's got your back all the time, Sam. That's he does. <laughs> That's the father-son connection. Um, yeah, so I think there are two features that I'm excited about. Uh, one is allowing our volunteers, our team, to create profiles for candidates and then um, say, hey, you know, so-and-so, we've already created a, uh, like I give you an example, like um, there's a Yang Gang candidate, Rev Wendy in DC. I've been bugging her to create a profile forever. She's busy. She's got a lot going on. She has, you know, she, she might not realize how easy it is. I'd rather just say, oh, I actually created you a profile. Here's a link that will let you cl claim it and add and edit it. Or if you don't like it, you can take it down, you know. Um, but that would be kind of cool. And we could start with the team, the OTP volunteers, like Nisa is another volunteer. Like we could have uh, our volunteers do that. But then I guess we could just also consider allowing anyone to create a profile for a candidate that they're supporting. So it's like, hey, if you have a candidate you really like, why, why can't you list them on OTP? Maybe we'd, we'd somehow, um, you know, down the road, we'll need to have like some verification thing or call out that this was like a supporter created profile. And that leads me to just the fact that every time I vote in a local election, I get this pamphlet, right? That's sent out to me in the mail and it has like a short paragraph about the person in a picture. And that's largely what my vote in these local elections is based on. And so yeah. I think the, the biggest thing I can hope that we can improve is that process to where instead of using that little pamphlet that barely has information, if I could look at a, a longer form description of a candidate with richer media like video mm -hmm. um, with question and answers and just kind mm -hmm. of a, get a much better representative or representation for where that person stands, it it lets my vote be much that that much more effective and it gets us away from this crazy bipartisan scenario we're in where I kind of just go, oh, okay, Democrat, I'm going this route which is not right to do, particularly in local elections where that person is going to influence policies that have a day-to-day -day effect on, on my uh, family and, and our daily lives. So um, I, I just love, I just see us replacing that little brochure and yeah. have, you know, much richer information that's available for people to consume easily. This has been a question that I've had for a while. Like this, I feel like there's sites out there that do that. Um, but I, I think they're probably like, like maybe maybe if uh, like if you got a church like maybe maybe there's somewhere your church might send you to like here look at this to figure out who to vote for or your union or whatever right like I think all those things actually they're probably pretty partisan in um, except for the the ones sent out by the you know local government or whatnot um, I, like could we fill a niche where we're um, 
you know, the kind of nonpartisan piece of the uh, like version of that. Um, I think I, there's something. I'm kind there. of curious what the what the landscape is. Yeah, I mean, you could learn a lot about a candidate. One thing I found is that if you are interested in a candidate, you can learn a lot about them by going to their website. Um, but it's harder to compare across candidates. You know, you basically mm -hmm. go to one person's site and you're like, okay, I'm going to get their life story and all this stuff and the cool video and blah, blah, blah. But then you're not in like comparison shopping mode, which is, I think, what we're trying to support. Because ultimately, while we are all kind of um, yang yang and supporters of, of progressive kind of reform, I think what we really... For OTP, what we want is competition, and we want as many voices heard, and you know, can and voters having as many choices as possible. Here's a, what success looks like, and and when I, I just had this idea, in what mm. success might look like, the day that like a local government sends us a um, note and says, hey, instead of uh, distributing this pamphlet, we'd love to just distribute like you know, this content via your website. Like how can yeah. we use OTP as a replacement for this voter pamphlets that we send out? I think yeah. that's a great I think that's great, Sam, because I do want to be, you know, nonpartisan. Like we just want to put out good information and and that that could be a that's that sounds like a decent uh, barometer for success there. Yeah, and it's just it, local governments are going to struggle to be digital. We already know that yeah. they have a hard time, um, you know, hiring talent and and building digital systems. So we're building one that maybe can help those local governments provide a, like you said, a nonpartisan, you know, brow or digital version of that brochure app. Because arguably that or brochure app, see, it's not even an app. That brochure needs to be upgraded, right? And and we can help them do that. Let's give an another shout out to the candidates who are on OTP in the spirit of increasing awareness since these uh, wonderful folks decided to create a profile. So if you go to candidates, Alan Lee, welcome, our newest OTP candidate, Fry Sandlin running for mayor of Jacksonville, Florida, Sheridan Lund uh, running for Congress in New Mexico, Andrew Lignani, uh, House of Reps, Connecticut, Austin Searle, uh, U.S. Senate. I think Austin is in uh, Montana. Yeah. Liam O'Mara, uh, who I think is in California, running for the House. Ali Dalsimer, who is running in Virginia's 11th District. Erica Rhodes, running in L.A. for Congress. Eric Storzend, Connecticut. Amy Washburn, Wisconsin. Uh, Yenny DeRoche is running for city council in Worcester, Massachusetts. Ryan Stark is- Phoenix, Arizona is what I see for that zip code. All right, there you go. So good thing we, uh, we, have, we, have, um, we have Sam with using the Google machine. Um, then we have Adriana, Avalez running for New York City District Council District 19. The only female Latina to run in that district. So we love the other thing that I would love to see is maybe like a, an ask me anything kind of ability to, to interact with the people. So like in this example, let's say, let's go back to the screen share. So I say, hey, I'm on OTP. And, you know, I'm like, wow, you know, this Liam O'Mara, he's a really cool, cool dude. He sounds really compelling. I watch his video. But what if I want to ask him, like, hey, man, what's your take on the current stimulus debate? Or what's your take on the, the minimum wage versus uh, universal basic income? Like, it would be kind of nice to have a way to kind of have a more engage dialogue well with that happy saturday have a great weekend and thanks for all your help saving democracy guys all right thank you goodbye Bye -bye. nerds so you love america and you've answered the call to run for local office there's only one problem 
You're worried about the career politicians ruining America. How are you going to convince people to vote for you? Especially when they have all the money. You're just starting out and you're more like this. And you want to be more like this. Don't worry, we got you. We have a path for you to get funded for your campaign. We also have a way for you to connect to a team of volunteers. Now you can relax because of the people.us has you covered. Because we all need a little help sometimes. Especially if you are going to have a successful campaign run and help us save our democracy. That means everyone can also support a local candidate at ofthepeople.us. Please join us so we can do awesome things for our country.